Hello, Nimble Fingers folks. This is Nadine. Hey, this is Sammy. How's it going? We miss you dearly. We wish we were with you this week. Um, it's such a special place and it's also the place we got married. So we'll be celebrating our seventh wedding anniversary this That's year. Right. Um, not at Sorrento, but here at home in uh, Eastern Quebec in the Gaspé coast. And um, well, this is our place, this is our cord of wood we got for the winter, and um, we're going to teach you a tune. <laughs> slowly first and then I'll break it down phrase by phrase. There's a lot of repetition in the, the rhythm of this tune, and I'll just start out with the first phrase. And the second phrase. Or you can add the pinky in there. So those two together. The third phrase is the same as the first, like a lot of fiddle tunes. And here's the last one. And that's a really, really common ending. We're in cross A, so we have a unis in A here, and then down to the octave. So here's the fourth phrase. Okay, so I'll start over. Second phrase. Third, 
same as the first. And then the last one. Unison, and then the octave. Okay, <clears throat> so you play that uh, through twice. It's like uh, normal. And then here's the B part. And the trick to this tune pretty much is that that's the only new phrase you need to learn because the other phrases will be the second and fourth phrases will be the same as the A parts. So we got. And then we already know. So that new phrase again. great idea to um, be able to hum the tune um, so <laughs> So the good news is that the A part and the B part seem to have pretty much the same chord progression. We can always, um, well we do the boom chuck course. So when I play at a, a G, it'll be G strum, D strum. And then when I play a C, it'll be C and G. And you can alternate with this finger. And then when we do a D, we're gonna bring the D. Three chords. 
cords that we'll be using and the the, the alternative alternate base mix that we'll be using. Now we can always um, kind of pimp it up a bit and do these little cords, uh, little base runs that um, that will just make it nicer, but don't use it all the time because then it'll be annoying. So just every so often when you feel like it, going from a G to a C, you can do uh, follow the letters of the alphabet. G, A, B, C. So with my middle finger is our G, and then the second string will be open A, B will be on the second fret, C on the third fret, so it'll be like this. And then if you want to go from a G to a D, you can do G, B, C, open D. So it'll sound like this. And when we're on a D, we can always go open E, then second fret will be a F sharp and G. So. I'm just gonna play it once through with um, those little bass notes, see how it sounds. And at some point in the tune we have to go from a C to a D. Um, so we, there's always the one where we go C, the one before, so C, B, C, C sharp, D, see if we have time to do this. slow it down a little bit, break it down phrase by phrase. The first phrase.
second phrase. Second phrase again. Third phrase, same as the first, like most fiddle tunes. And here's the last one. Start over. First phrase. Second. Third, same as the first. Last one. Same as the first. <clears throat> and uh, the B part, we just have one new phrase to learn, and then we have the whole tune. So it's just this first phrase. Second phrase, <clears throat> just like the eighth part. And the same last phrase, just the eighth part. style is pretty much like the the round peak style i've been obviously influenced by you know recordings from the, the playing of kyle creed and fred cochran and tommy gerald and that's where some of those those licks come in like where you know we throw those drop thumbs in like <laughs> with you. Um, hope you're all doing well. We'll see you next time. Can't wait. <laughs>